All right, we're gonna jump right into this. I am super excited about today's real time because we're gonna be doing a full set of gel sculptured nails with Synergy Gel Precision Applicator right now on real time. All right, Tracy. I'm really excited about today's set because we are gonna be using the new Synergy Gel Precision Applicator in Yay! real time. <laughs> I'm stoked to see this done in real time. I'm sure a lot of people wanna see how this is done in real time and um, you're gonna do it. So what do you expect? Time savings, how much? I think the average person saves about 30%. What about for yourself? How much time do you think you're gonna save utilizing the applicator? I would say for myself, it's going to be pretty much around the same time, but you got to realize I've been doing it in this form for a long time. Oh, right. So just in a different way of doing it. Right. So I would... Like using the back of the brush. Using the back of the right, brush. I mean, right. that's that's that not only taught me how to do it, right. how to do gels, but it saves so much time. Um, and then this, I, you know what? I would save more time because it, this is even faster. I don't have to keep on going back and forth or anything Correct. like that. It's just squeeze. And right. so yeah, even myself, I'll probably save at least 10 minutes. Yeah, which is huge yeah. for the, cause you're already extremely fast. So saving 10 minutes, cutting 10 minutes is massive. It's great. And I just love the fact that it's all right here and you just press and you go so and it's done. It's done. I'm super excited. I don't even know if you have design plan or what you do, but you ready to go? It's real time. We'll make it up as we go. I now this is what I love about it. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's get started by pushing back those cuticles. We always want to do this just to kind of gauge what's going on with their nails. Also, we want to be able to um, get them back. I know some people that don't push back their cuticles or their customer's cuticles and what ends up happening is your customer will do it themselves and then it immediately looks like they need a fill. How are you today, Steph? I'm doing good. Yeah? Life is good? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. What do we have on the radar today? I feel like we've done this before. <laughs> um, I would like to talk about the new Synergy Gel applicators. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> not a fan. Oh, jeez. We're, we're launching June 29th? Yep. Which is going to be epic. So for people that are struggling for with um, gel application, like... Ugh. This is gonna this is gonna make it a lot easier for you. In fact, I myself had a hard time with gel. I don't know about you, Steph, but I did. I'm extremely heavy-handed and like kill the nail. Um, so, and I was taught acrylic because my school didn't teach gel. I don't think most schools teach gel. Mm -mm. I know yours didn't because you went to the same school as I did. Yeah, ours. <laughs> I mean, our school. Um, so, you know, I started with acrylic and. I remember the first time I came home and I told my husband, I'm like, he's like, how was your day? And I'm like, well, you know, it was good. I could have had a, a full set of gel, but I don't know how to do it. He's like, I never want to hear that again. So I went to class. <sighs> I struggled big time. That, that's a, that float. It's a whole different beast. And I don't know about you, but I, I definitely, definitely struggled with it. Mm -hmm. um, so... Finally, I was taught to use the back of the brush and that changed everything for me. I was able to finally float and I could use the front of the brush, but if you, and I talk, I teach with the front of the brush, but if you ever see me like if, in salon, I always use the back of the brush um, because it forces the float. So we have the tube gels now, which kind of mimic that same thing but even better because the gel is right there and you're just kind of pushing it forward, pumping it out. So easy. And the two, the gel in the tube is a hard gel? It is a hard gel. It is a Synergy gel. It is a non-porous gel. There is no soaking it off. You have to electric file or file it off. Um, but yeah, it's uh, very similar to the consistency of what's in our pots. And for those people that are stressing, no, we're not gonna get rid of the pots. Um, but this is another option for people. And I think, I think they're going to really kind of trip out and love it. 
I know you tried it and you were a little, actually, you were kind of a pain. Because <laughs> at first you're like, eh, I don't, even, I don't even think you were really interested in trying it. No. <laughs> what was your experience with it? I loved them. Uh, I uh, struggled learning gel as well because I, I, I preferred acrylic. I like to be more in control of the product, mm -hmm. and with gel, you are really kind of just guiding and letting it do its own thing. Yeah, you don't have to, yeah, that's different, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I want you to do what I want you to do. Exactly. Like, no, I'm going to do my own thing. It's kind of just my personality type. <laughs> um, control freak, yes. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. It's myself, too, so I understand. Um, so, yeah, the gel was a learning curve for sure. Uh, I got it down. But uh, I did love the new tube gels when I got them. It cut almost 30 minutes off my total service time for full sets and fills. That's crazy. Yeah, I really didn't expect that much of a difference from it. But um, I think with taking out the exact amount every time, just that small amount, it was perfect. And it just, I didn't even realize I was cutting time until all of a sudden I started finishing early and I'm like, where's my client? Yeah. And like, then why I, are they late? Exactly. Like, no, you're just, you're just early. Exactly. And then I was like, oh, this is, I, I got ahead of myself. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So people are like, why did you skip the two fingers? They are actually a square nail bed and they are very square right now. So we're just going to customize that form and a tip and a trick for this, like, when you have downtime, I would sit there and cut my forms and make myself some square ones and also some forms for uh, large nails, especially like thumbs. Um, sometimes you get a, a thumb that is like, I'm not sure what's gonna fit that. Um, so you can customize your forms, which we have videos on, but that's what I'm doing right here. Um, I don't have any pre-made, so we're gonna do it right on camera. We've had actually a couple questions recently about ski slope nails. Mm. And so since we're on this topic, would you like to go into that at all? How you would form them, how you maintain them? So ski slope nails are definitely a challenge. And speaking of challenge, your middle finger is always a challenge to me. I know. Like it's a little crooked. It doesn't and, want, I know. And then Habib's like, it's crooks McGooks <laughs> on camera. So we're going to make sure. Um... When it comes to ski slope, it, it's kind of a hard nail because you're never going to really fix it, fix it, um, but you can kind of correct it and then you're going to have to redo it. So what I mean is I really recommend cutting off all that free edge, get rid of it, take it down as low as you can and then form out a nail. And then what, what would you say? Like once every two, three months, you're yeah. probably going to have to take that one off right. and redo it because eventually it's just gonna grow the way god made it it's yeah. gonna grow up so while we have this formed i'm gonna go ahead and take our wrong color i don't want peach i want pink today we're gonna go ahead and form out your free edges and then we'll move on to the next so i like doing this because um i like to form out the hand i have real quick get the product on there it makes the client a little a little more responsible i think <laughs> for their actions Whereas if I form all 10 fingers, um, usually they'll give me the other hand kind of jacked up. So this way it makes them a little, a little more aware of what's going on. Sorry. A little, ooh. Mm -hmm. A little more aware of what's going on with their forms when they have product on. So let's go ahead and form them out. And we're just connecting to the free edge. And yes, I'm gonna put base gel, but, and I'll explain to you in a second why I'm gonna wait because um, I think it'll make more sense while I'm putting the base gel on. And what I love about this consistency, guys, as you can see, I'm able to like form out all five nails, get it out on the form, and just like that concealer pink in the, the pot, uh, it has a slight leveling property, but it's not running on me. Which I think we talked about the other day, Steph, you and I, we were talking about just like the different gels, why there's so many gels. Uh, it can be kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, when I started gels, it was like you had to conform to the gel. There was like one consistency. It was honey. <laughs> it was a nightmare. It's like you could do half a nail. <laughs> freeze it, add more, add more, add more. Um, so now we have all these different 
types, different formulas, different viscosities. That way people can work with the way they want um, versus being forced into right. one. Um, I think I love like, you know, flex and all that for mixing glitters, but actually now my favorite is the clear sculptor in the tube. That consistency is just perfect for it. Um, you know, if people are wondering what the difference is, because we do have a clear sculptor in the pot, this is a little thinner. And so it makes it kind of universal. You can use it for um, mixing your glitters. You can use it for forming out the nails. You can use it for, um, you know, building your structure and your strength. Um, so you have options. What are the color options for the tube gels? Good question. It is concealer pink. Concealer Peach, we have um, White Sculptor, and we have that Clear Sculptor um, in it. And we will we will be coming out with more, but those are really just like our top sellers, so that's why we have those. So since you are the one that is the, we call stuff the, the face kind of of our social media because she's usually the one answering your guys's questions she lets us know if you guys are wanting to see certain videos different things so has there been any like problems subjects that we should discuss while we're um a lot of appreciation for the real time these yeah. days yeah it seems like everybody's kind of into the series and i like it i think it's very informational um except my nails being done once a week all the time <laughs> hey it could be worse right yeah, yeah he could be worse, yeah. it could be hair yeah exactly we're gonna cut your hair once a week <laughs> quickly mm -hmm. as fast as we can as fast as we can okay let's get this on so that's cool um any people having problems or like what do you see like most people issue with speed is cuticles yeah. every time that's so the, big, the biggest yeah. response is just cuticles 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 i find that interesting i really do i know we talked about it before because if you're a new customer obviously i'm probably going to have a little more work um but if you are an existing customer i've kind of maintained your cuticles like they're unless you're insanely <laughs> a, a, a major cuticle grower uh it just should be fairly simple after the first couple appointments you might have to work at it a little bit if you have someone insane but i think we talked about this before I've, I've never really met anyone that like was off the charts like a problem we actually had a message today that said um that tracy you would be amazed if you saw my cuticles <laughs> like they, they grow back like every couple weeks i want to so, see this yeah i want to like, see this there definitely is because these are real people yes, with uh, the yeah, actual yeah. issues i want to see pics please send me pics so yeah. i that way we can address it too mm -hmm. like okay i get what you're talking about let's 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 come in let's have you come in and we'll yeah. Do your yeah i mean i guess there is some i find that um what I would ask them is if they are keeping artificial on their cells and if they're a nail biter. Mm -hmm. Because a nail biter's cuticles are usually going to be way worse than anybody else. And they, oh, let me just check them real quick. Um, and they actually grow faster than anybody else. And, and they're always stimulating that blood flow to that, um, that nail. So they don't even realize that they're growing fast because they're always chomping on them. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the forms and this just makes my life easier. I know I'm going to get a full cure from top to bottom. Plus, I don't know about you, but I have an easier time kind of getting the upper strength when I don't see the form. The form makes everything kind of darker and a little deceiving. Okay. I made a mistake. Would you like to know what it is? Is I took off her forms before I applied base which is not a big deal. But the reason I like to play base before I remove the forms and cure it, it kind of secures that tip. And that way when you're removing the form, it doesn't break on you. However, it happens sometimes. You'll be, you know, cause we don't have like the strength and structure on there like we do on um, acrylic. So it's kind of flimsy. This is really just a guide for me to build out the strength and structure. 
So if you're removing the form and you notice that it starts to break on the side, I literally want you just to push the form back up, take your base and mend it. Problem solved. Okay, so we'll do this one the right way. So we're just gonna take that base, apply it out. This also helps like if there's a little ledge going on where the pink and the um, natural nail is, I fill it with this a little bit, just like this. Build it out. Okay. Um, I think another question we've had with the tube gels mm -hmm. is, wow, I got really loud for a second, <laughs> um, is the, ba the base, right? Yeah. People asking about the base, if it's necessary, why isn't it in the tube? And the reason it isn't is you gotta really, if you notice, like I'm pushing, pushing that base into that nail bed, that really secures it down. It's gonna make it nice and uh, tight on there, which is gonna hold to the nail bed, which means it's gonna help, no, and then it's gonna hold to the product and everything's gonna be nice and secure. So base, so far, it's gonna stay in a, uh, a pot for now. Okay, so let's put this down. Hopefully I'm not got my head in your way. <laughs> We're gonna put it towards the cuticle. I hold that finger down guys and I just kind of slowly walk it out. I'm kind of looking at it from the side view, all views, because that top view is kind of deceiving. So I'm just turning our finger, taking a look. I'm myself, I'm turning myself so I can see. And it is warm in here today, so I'm literally gonna apply one nail at a time. It doesn't matter. It's still gonna go very quickly because we're always doing something. We're always, we're working on the other hand. Um, and that's just the nature of gel. It's kind of the opposite of acrylic. Acrylic gets hot. Well, same thing, right? Yeah. They both, they both run, but acrylic sets up faster. And so um, with gel, it starts to run. Acrylic, it's a little harder to work with. It's a little like working with cement when it's hot. <laughs> when it's colder, acrylic runs more. But so don't worry about like, I know some people are like, well, I have to get it on all five fingers. Some days I do, some days it's one, some days it's two. It just doesn't matter. You have to kind of work with how your product is responding that day. I think especially when you're getting used to it too. Yeah. I always recommend them. I just start with one. Yeah, it doesn't. I know, I know when we're demoing, it could seem like it's, oh, but that's going to take forever. But it, it don't. Because mm -hmm. when you're doing it in real time, you're always in motion. Especially when you're working with two lights. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's so important. I have two lights this time. I almost freaked out that one time we didn't have it. I know. Um, what are some of the new features? Or well, how long does this need to cure? So it's exactly the same as our Synergy gels. Mm -hmm. It's going to be that one minute full cure in the light, in which we have a new light too. And what are some of the features on the new light? So the new light. I'm gonna make sure this isn't touching your skin. There we go, go ahead. Um, the new light features, um, it's very similar to our old one, but there's some new features, which makes it really cool. So our old one had a dimming function, which means you can turn it on half power. So when you put your customer in light, especially when you're doing a full set like this, it doesn't um, burn them. Our new light has that same feature. However, when you put it on the timer, it slowly increases the power. So it starts at half, then at 30 seconds, it goes up a notch. Then at 50 seconds, it increases the full, the full amount. So it's, it's really cool. It's a really nice feature. Um, it has the 10, what is it? 10, 30, 60 and 90 seconds mm -hmm. on it. Um, which is also very nice. It has that removable tray like our old one did. Um, it is a white tray. We've had some questions about that. Like you, you thought that you needed a reflective um, tray at the bottom of a light. And it is helpful, but this one's white, so it also reflects the light. It's not like we're working with a, like a, a black tray. Is it good? Not on this side. Um, the new light has that digital display too, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, so you know exactly what time. And when you put your hand in, 
it automatically goes to um, two minutes. So make sure I'm staying in the center. I got yelled at today, guys. <laughs> keep your head out keep your shoulder out keep your like there's so many rules and i think that's why when people ask like you know i would love to see this in salon this this is it's way harder like i'm really not up close to the nail like i'd love to be my nails usually come out a little fatter when i'm doing it because i'm not way up in it like i i want to be mm -hmm. um so yeah so we we had a discussion this morning <laughs> I'm going to be replaced. We're going to start a support Tracy group. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy needs a vacation again. Yeah. Uh, okay. So again, we're just doing a bad game of the hokey pokey, going back and forth, back and forth. Um, I, I think a lot of people tell me that it takes them longer to do gel. And once you get used to the float, and I really think this tube is going to help you guys, you will find that you can do gel just as fast, if not faster, mm -hmm. than um, acrylic. So, the are you able to get all of the gel out of your tube? Yes. So that's a good question. We have like I haven't used the key on this one, and I've used this a lot. This tube, so it's really easy to push the gel down. However, we do have what we call a tube key, which looks like a, a toothpaste uh, a squeezer mm -hmm. or a hair color key. And basically it's the same principle. It's just gonna push everything to the bottom for you so you can get everything that you need out of it. Um, so each tube comes with one. And then, oh gosh, do we talk about the, the deals we're gonna have for um, the launch? Um, um, if we're allowed to. Well, no, we can't. <laughs> Did we mention that we're going to have deals? Um, yeah, we have some crazy deals it's, coming. It's really crazy. So if you hope are, we have enough stock. <laughs> we, we planned. We're, we're learning as we go. We're learning with our launches. Like we're, we're planning way better. So I'm going to take a look and just look at everything from that side view and make sure I have an arch where I want. If you need to add more, I'm not going to get crazy about making it pretty. I'm just going to add it right where I need it. So I just want to make sure your upper arches you tend to have a little flatter nail beds. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we give you a nice little arch and support it at that strength. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. So pretty. I'm going to put that um, on the final one minute timer because we added more. I think we're good on that one actually. Let's get this one. So funny as you go, you get kind of like better with it. It's kind of like I always say the first couple nails of acrylic don't count. So it's kind of the same gene with gel. <laughs> I always really did like what you're doing right now. Like I would get most of my shape down and then I would do like a second round pass through for my support right at the stress area. Yeah. Especially because gel does self level. Yeah, I mean, and and it, it does. And if you're doing longer nails, mm -hmm. especially, you're probably going to have to do that. Okay, so let's wait one minute. <laughs> <laughs> the longest part of the set. Yeah, the longest part. Let's go ahead and switch our bit out while we're waiting. I'm going to just use the core safety bit today. I'm going to take that dispersion layer, remove that. Make sure it's not sticky anymore. Those are just fabulously beautiful. Gel files so easy. I really don't get carried away with making it even or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get in there and make you pretty. Or die trying, right? <laughs> Move some things. I got my old desk back, which makes me very happy. <laughs> they, they, we were working off a desk that was very, very narrow, narrow. and uh, I think that was one of the reasons why my head kept on getting in the way, too. Okay. What up, Gio? What up? <laughs> 
Uh, what bit do you recommend filing, Jill? It really is up to you. I mean, it, I, I find that the core safety or the X cut works great, um, but I don't put a lot of pressure behind it. Because mm-hmm. um, through the years I've learned, and I think I've talked about that before, like I'd work with Greg and he would be like, I'd see him filing. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. And I'd go back and I'd start doing the same thing and I'd file through the gel. And it's because I was putting the same kind of pressure behind it as I would acrylic. And that's a no no. Mm-hmm. So we, um, let me grab this real quick. We, uh, finally he did a nail on me. And um, I realized, oh, there's a lot less pressure that we're using on the, um, the nail. So you can go ahead and use those X cuts or a, a core safety bit as long as you don't put the pressure. Now, if you're still heavy handed, if you still have a problem, go ahead and try to use like um, the regular safety bit. I think works really good. So Jill's so soft to just like. Oh yeah, files like butter, right? Like you got it. That's why there's so much dust all the time. Um, but I mean, I know most people work with a um, dust extractor. We don't at this time because it's kind of loud. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets, uh, it's hard for people to under- hear us. So we just kind of deal with the dust. I'm gonna just kind of keep on dusting my hands off and your hands off um, because gel, it looks like it's snowed most of the time. <laughs> and we don't want that, so. We're just gonna take a little more time. This will cost us time, but it's okay. We want you guys to see what we're doing, so. So what else do we got in the wonderful world of Young Nails going on? Anything? Um, is the tube gels good for overlays? Ooh, yes. Super, super, super quick, right? Yeah. I think they would work amazing for that um super fast we have a how much i think coming out too where we did it in clear and we were using it for um like uh putting in confetti and mylar oh my gosh super super easy because you can just dot it and uh i think you're the one that's like what about rhinestones and like oh yeah total rhinestones yeah, I love the clear sculptor for rhinestones. Yeah. And this new tube makes it really easy because you can literally dot it on and then follow up with your stones and it's pretty pretty easy. Kirby wants to get in my drill. Ooh, I called it a drill. Mm-hmm. Bad, Tracy. <laughs> Electric file. It's like in beauty school when they teach you you're not, you dye Easter eggs, you don't dye hair. Uh, so you color your hair? Yeah. That's how I feel about the electric file. Anytime anybody calls it a drill, I'm like, mm, it's an electric file. It's an electric file. <laughs> it just sounds better, right? Like, if you, you tell your client, let me get the drill out, they're like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. You guys got me trained. Yeah. Okay, well, apparently I still kind of keep it back. <laughs> it's all good. We'll get it one of these days. I think terminology is... is we understand it, but it can, it, it, I, I agree, it can sound kind of aggressive to a customer, like, like, you know, let me get the weed whacker out to cut your hair. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> so guys, definitely want to use something that's sucking up the dust so it's not getting in your lungs, not getting all over your hands, keeps your desk cleaner, but we want you guys to be able to hear us too. We're doing it for you. (laughs) Sacrificing. (laughs) So if you guys have missed some of the more instructional videos on the two gels, Uh, We have a great, like, Facebook Live that we did that's still up that you guys can watch and refer to that Greg did. He just kind of walks through everything on it and the new light. Also, we have a how much that came out. Um, 
uh, what, what would that date be, like, on the, say, 13th, 17th, 16th, it came out on June 16th, if you want to go back into uh, the YouTube and check it out, it's there. We also have the new Facebook community. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. So, what, tell us about it. So, the Young Nails Facebook community page is a closed group that ha is um, open to nail techs and nail enthusiasts, um, where you can share your photos and post your questions and get some inside information on all things going on at Young Nails. So, if you guys are not already a part of the group, make sure you send in a request to join. Um, looking at it, I mean, it's been really cool. Like, people are sharing their pics. Yeah. Getting advice from other techs. And, um, you know, the number one rule is everybody needs to be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody has been really supportive and really, really nice to everybody and giving some really good advice. It doesn't always, you know, it doesn't have to be Young Nails focused. We, we're here to help all techs. And I think also it's really great for networking. Mm -hmm. Like if you're a customer looking for a nail tech in your area, that's a, a great place to start, right? Mm -hmm. Go to the community. You know you're watching the videos. We appreciate it. Um, you know you like our product. Why not go onto our Facebook community and find yourself a tech? Um, and, or ask questions about like if you have a tech and you're not sure like is this the way it's supposed to be mm -hmm. yeah, you know you, you'll be able to get a lot of um, really good advice which is cool yeah it's been really fun to ha see all the networking that happens with everybody communicating with each other like whether they're questions that are directed at us or yeah. other techs any any of it it's all good and what's also cool is like we oh, like when we launched these tube gels that's where we launched it first right, right. We, we announced it there we did um giveaways just for there so that was cool um so it's definitely something you want to follow because we'll do a lot of things like that in that community like special content also special you know launches things like that so i think it's a, it's a really I like seeing techs be supportive of each other. Um, yeah, it's nice to just have a page to kind of yeah be together on. Yeah, get some good advice, some you know, and know that you're not going to be attack, attacked, and then that's unfortunate that sometimes that's what can happen. So right. Um, so definitely, everybody's been really, really great, and I, I love seeing that. Um, also, I think we we. We post like our classes and stuff on there. Yeah. And uh, I, I know Greg gets on there. Habib gets on there. I am trying to make more of an effort to get on there because I keep on forgetting. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I, the stuff's on there all the time. So um, it's just really, really, really cool. When you're shaping, um, where where is your focus at? Like, how are you? I, I feel like we get a lot of questions about stiletto and coffin shaped nails, and um, how you achieve that look. Um, well, some of it is done on the form. I don't get carried away. I, I've seen people like they spend a lot of time shaping everything out on the form. I get the the basic shape there. Like, I don't want to shape a square now if I'm going to. Um, if I'm going to go ahead and dust yourself off real quick. Um, if I'm going to want something a shape like this, uh -huh. so because then you're trying to oh, you're, you're working hard at it, and you're trying to file in the sides like I'm shaping right now, and you're doing that with a square nail, and you're going to cause weak spot right here. Mm -hmm. So that's part of it, and then it, a lot of it's just visualizing it in your head, the shape that you're going for. Mm -hmm. I find it's kind of like driving a car. When you are driving, we don't look down at the road; we look ahead, and so I'm doing that kind of with the nails too i'm looking ahead at the shape that i'm wanting to achieve and your file kind of automatically goes goes towards that let's round these a little bit more than what i have them i know you're like a little bit sharper than that but it's okay i'm kind of feeling round right now it's all about me not you yeah. <laughs> 
I feel like they need to be rounded. I feel. I feel like Stephanie wanted them rounded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I I saw on my head that she was like, please round them. Please Going round for them. a little softer look. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of my favorite look right now. So what else we got? We're going to be going to Sacramento. Mm -hmm. When is the Sacramento show? September. Eesh. I want to say like September 17th. No, I think it's later. Um, yeah, I think it's the 20 something, the weekend of the 20 like 22nd. Second, maybe. Yeah. Some that, whatever that weekend is around the 22nd. Um, because right afterwards, we're going to be heading out to um, Holland mm -hmm. and the UK. So and Lots of trips planned. Lots of things going on. Nail Pro Sacramento is always a good show. It's a great show. We've done it for years now, and it's in a new spot this year. Mm -hmm. I think the, the, the usual place we go to, the convention center. I'm going to have you turn that way just a little bit, Steph. Stuff like stuff actually do not fit under this table. <laughs> uh, so I have to have her turn a little bit. And that's kind of an important thing, guys, is not only can I not turn because I would be in the camera's way, um, don't sit there all day and tweak yourself, tweak your back to, this is gonna sound bad, make the client comfortable. We want the client comfortable, but if they have to turn or tweak their arm a little bit, that's gonna be very minimal you know, just a few minutes compared to us doing it all day. That's how you get, throw your shoulder out, your back out, all that stuff. So um, have them reposition. They don't care. I always tell my clients that they're Gumby. They need to just kind of conform to what mm -hmm. I need. Well, if they're there for half an hour, an hour, oh, and you're yeah, there it's 10 minimal. to 12, it's pretty different. It's really different. And you get, it's such a... Um, habit that you get into when you start tweaking your body like that you really start messing yourself up yeah and i did it for a long time i'm like like a contortionist at the table like finally i'm like no and i didn't give my clients like you have a rolling chair i didn't give my clients a rolling chair because they tend to like roll out they're like they're like cruising at your table they're yeah. like sitting halfway back across the room on you or they're spinning you know turning the ch chair over and over and over um so i gave them a stationary chair so they couldn't move around like that and that helped a lot helped a lot when i finally get that i have a friend that she just moved into a salon and a lot of people are working on um have you seen it the balls yes She's hilarious. She's like the same age as me. And she's like, I freaking fell off the ball, Tracy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she's like, hilarious. I was reaching for something and literally, like, she's like, I'm too old for this. I don't want to sit on the ball anymore. That's hilarious. Yeah. I'm pretty sure those are good for you, like ergonomically. They're really, they're really supposed to be good for you. I know. She, she's, she's getting used to it. But ew, I laughed so hard at her. I've done it in a roller chair myself because I was doing my own nails and I can't sit for two seconds. So I was trying to grab something and sure enough. It tipped over. Tipped over. Uh -huh. oh, good. Well, I'm trying to think of what else we can talk about. You guys need to give us subjects too. <laughs> like <laughs> tell us like, I want you to talk about this during nails. Um, the shape definitely is one thing like how we are achieving that, what we're doing in the cuticle area. Like I try to keep product very thin back there because I don't want to file over and over in the cuticle area. The more you put pressure, like if I build that cuticle up area up really thick and I have to file a lot, a lot of times you will cause your own lifting and not even realize it. So let me see this one. Um, because you're putting pressure. The more pressure you put, it can cause lifting. So, and if you have a client that sits there and does that all the time with their nails, they're always checking for lifting. They actually just kind of cause lifting. So we want to avoid that too. The client that's obsessed with their nails. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Habib and Gio are doing. Yeah. 
They're sitting there texting each other, I'm sure. Probably yeah. squirrel pictures, which is a thing. Squirrel detectives, squirrel pics. Making fun of us. Yeah. I'm not even sure why they have to be in the room. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so See the things that we deal with? This guy's also is part of the shaping, like how I look down the barrel and look at it. This is going to show me any bumps and lumps, and I'm really going to be able to narrow and give a nice, really nice shape to that nail by doing that. Let's compare. I'm pretty darn happy. <laughs> That's that's what matters, right? Yep. You like them, Steph? Yeah, I love them. <laughs> I love clients that are easy like that. Do you ever have um, like really, really picky clients? Mm-hmm. Mm. I always say I, I've had clients come in and like look at their nails right in, underneath the light and I would yeah. turn the light off on them. <laughs> I'm like, if you have to look that close, you're going to find issues. Definitely find issues. I want to give them just a really beautiful salon successful set. Call it a day. Getting rid of all that dust and those grooves. Let's do some uh, sugaring, why don't we, real quick? Sounds good. Get our finish out. And I love working with finish. I know some people love um, stain resistant, and I do too. It just depends on the client. Like, Stephanie doesn't work with anything that is um, going to cause any staining, really. So I'm able to just put finish on her. It's non-tack, so it works great. If she was a hairdresser or if she was known to like smoke or tan or anything like that, I'm definitely going to put stain resistant in it. And I think that was a subject you were going to ad address. Mm -hmm. We were talking about addressing like why we have so many different top coats. Yes. And what they're used for. Um, it's just having the tool that you need at that moment. Right now, I want something that's just going to cure. I don't have to swipe it off. It's done. I love sugaring into finish. It works amazing. So. And with finish, it's really best for like enhancements, like hard nails, right? Like. Oh, definitely. And stain resistant. It's the same thing. It, it works best for an enhancement. Um, you can you can put it over gel polish. As long, even finish can go over gel polish. You can't soak it or anything but um it has to have that hard kind of surface in the back if you're using it over gel polish i love finish for chrome mm. i usually rub my chrome pigments into my finish it works good huh it works really well yeah i think we'll leave it though yeah happy happy i'm gonna cure that for two minutes i like curing out the finish for two it just really gives it a high shine Hopefully I'm not putting my shoulder or my head in the way, my good stuff. I think you're good. I really tend to lean on the one shoulder a lot. It's not good for your body. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just had that conversation, huh? <laughs> it's a little lean, a little bit of a lean. What it's like is, my balance. What is really good for your body if you do get into those habits though is like some type of daily working out. Mm. Even when it's not like extreme, if you know, I know people that have just gone to like yoga or something just to get a different range of motion mm. because you sit here so crumpled up for so many hours and then you just go home and crumple up more and it's just not good. So even if it's not for any reason other than like your range of motion, there should be some type of physical activity. I like that. It's important or stretching. At yeah. Least. yeah. You know, some people that stretch at their table. Yeah. Which, even if you just take the time to do that, just be aware of it. Kind of reminds me of Habib doing his stretches in or the morning. His, yeah. The air it's, lunges. Yes. Yeah, it's very interesting. You all should check it out. Yeah. It's you should a, start a workout channel. Yeah. It's like the Jane Fonda of <laughs> a young one, Like the Trollo <laughs> workout videos. That could be Habib's next thing. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so we're waiting that two minutes. Um, what are these us. table towels? That's a pretty common question. Where, oh. where can we get buy these? You can get them from us. They're great. Uh, if you're, especially if you're doing like acrylic, um, it pulls everything out of that brush really, really nicely. Um, so it keeps your brush nice and clean. Um, we use them for the table so we can just kind of clean it. I 
didn't use it on my table when I was working because I had a vent. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to cover up my vent. Um, but uh, it works great for this if you want it for over the table, but really, really great for wiping the hands. It's great for wiping um, your acrylic brush off on. Mm -hmm. No lint. No lint, yeah. And it pulls it. Whereas like a, a paper towel or something, it does not pull the acrylic out. And so sorry to everybody watching. Yes, sea spray is discontinued. No. I, <laughs> I went to use it the other day and she's like, you can't use that. And now I, I just... I did it again. I'm obsessed with it, apparently. I know. And, and we're sad, too. Yes, we are. And it's not of any fault of ours. I know. Like, you cannot get it. Anytime people ask, I'm like, I really hate to be the bearer of bad news. Yeah, but no, it's gone. <laughs> we probably should quit using it. Yeah, it's all the way gone. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and pull. Oops. So it's best to sh dust the sugar off first. Okay. Let's see what we got. Show them the the done pick. We are done. <laughs> Tracy, uh, you're the one responsible for this product line because I remember when you were saying, like, it's easier for me to apply gel back of the brush. What we need to do is this, and you had the idea of the precision applicator. I see the benefits. Again, as a beginner, I can speak to that. It really is easy. Like, you don't pick anything up. You just put it on there, you squeeze, and you go. Yeah. And it's super easy to, to just maneuver the product with that tip as opposed to a brush. In my experience, as a beginner, I absolutely love it. Beautiful set of nails. Again, I am really excited about us launching this product. If you struggle at all with gel application, or if you're an acrylic nail tech and you're looking to try gel, this is the transition for you. Great job, Trace. We'll see you next week on Real Time.